joining me today. Today I'm going to be following up with a recipe that I started about a month ago on making liqueurs. Now this is a peach liqueur that I have had, um, you know, kind of stewing for the last month. And then I've got a nectarine and plum liqueur. So the, it's both, both of them have been you know, doing their thing for the last month. And so now it's time to strain out the fruit and do a final straining. And then I'm gonna bottle it up and I'm just gonna keep these in the refrigerator. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I have four different bottles. I'm not quite sure how much this is gonna give me, um, but I have four bottles, two bottles for each container of my liqueur. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just strain out the largest and most solid of my fruit. So I'm just gonna pour this through a strainer very slowly. It smells so fragrant and amazing. So, so this is my first straining of the liqueur. I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I'll show you the next step we're gonna do. Okay, so after I have strained it once, I'm actually gonna give it a second straining, and this is just through my, uh, just through my regular old strainer here. Now all I'm gonna do is run this through the same strainer with the coffee filter, and this will go pretty quickly. Now, if you've never made liqueurs or brandies or anything like that in the past, they're very easy. I have a lot of different kinds of fruit trees. I have plums and peaches and apricots. I have all kinds of fruit trees. And if you've got fruit or access to fruit or even fruit that you buy at the grocery store, as long as it's really ripe, you can make your own liqueurs and brandies at home. So I'm gonna link a video right above. It's gonna be my part one of making a liqueur. There's one. Now this is my plum nectarine. And I'm gonna show you when these are all filled up just how beautiful these are in the jars. I'm gonna do this other one in the red jar. So what do you guys think? Do you prefer plum or do you prefer peach if you're going out and buying something like this in the store? Um, I'd be interested to know what you think. Feel free to comment and let me know if these look like you know cocktails that you'd like to make something out of. Uh, they look very delicious to me. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my peach liqueur. Just gonna strain the fruit off. Okay, we've strained the peach one a couple of times and so now we're gonna put this beautiful peach syrup right into these, into these bottles. This is something my family always enjoys. I have these little tiny, they're like one ounce crystal glasses. I've got a set of them that my best friend gave me many years ago. And every Christmas we kind of have a little bit of the brandy or the liqueurs. It's just kind of a fun way to celebrate at a different time of the year, the, the harvest that we've had in our garden. So the next thing I do after everything's bottled and cleaned and washed, I use some of these ball disposable labels and that way I can label these and when I wash the jars, they come off really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put these on my jars, on my, on my bottles, I guess, just so I know what everything is. The ones here on my right are gonna be the peach liqueur and the ones on my left are gonna be the plum and nectarine liqueur. And we are gonna sample them next and see what we think. So these are the little glasses I was telling you about. This is the peach and this is the plum nectarine. We're gonna give them both a little try. So this is my peach liqueur. We're gonna give this a little taste test. Oh my gosh, that is so strong. <laughs> I'm not gonna drink it all. <laughs> very good though, very peachy. 
And this is the plum and nectarine. I prefer the peach, but this is very good. They're both very strong. I don't know what the proof is. These came out really strong. We'll be, we'll be drinking out of these at Christmas and probably have to give one of them away. I don't know. We don't drink that much, but it just seems like whenever summer comes, we always have so much fruit. I'm always trying to think of creative ways to use it. So let me uh, just do a final photo so you can see how beautiful this came out. And uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like the content, if you would hit the subscribe, ring the bell, give me a thumbs up or make a comment, I'd really appreciate it. So thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.